Hi everyone, Sharon here with Max Senior. You know, there's something that I think is happening all over the world. I think people are getting iPads and they're getting them from friends or family members or they buy it themselves from Best Buy. And in any case, it does not get set up. And so what I think is happening is they take it out of the box. They look all over the device for the on off button they can't find one and they think this is over my head and they put it back in the box and there it stays okay so let's take a look at how to set up an iPad first of all the button on the very top is called the sleep on off button and you need to hold it down long enough for the Apple to appear and then after it comes on you slide your finger around uh, or across to bring it up and you start touching the correct um, choices United States and that sort of thing then it wants you to get on Wi-Fi and so you choose whichever Wi-Fi uh, is available to you and it's going to want the Wi-Fi password also. So once you do that and you have Wi-Fi, then you can start setting it up and getting your email on and stuff like that. So you always want to enable location services. And here it gives you a choice. You can either restore from an iCloud backup. Let's say you dropped your iPad in water and you got a new one. It will put it back just like the old one was. So then it's going to ask for your Apple ID and you put that in. Then it's going to want you to agree to Apple's terms and conditions and it's down in the little right hand corner and then you have to touch that agree one more time. And then it starts setting it up. You're going to want to say yes to iCloud, yes to find my iPad, and then you're going to want to make sure all of this information is correct about you. And then you say next up in the top right hand corner. And I don't use a passcode, but you might want to create one. And if you do, here's your opportunity, or you can just say continue and pass it up. You're going to want to say yes to Siri and yes to having the diagnosis sent to Apple. And then that brings you to the home page. Then you can go to settings and go into mail, contacts, and calendars, and that's where you can add uh, your email account. See where it says add account? You just touch that right under iCloud up in the top right hand corner. And let's say you had a Yahoo account, you would just touch that and then you would fill in your first and last name and you would put in your uh, Yahoo email and then the Yahoo password and uh, hit next. I hit cancel because I already have mine set up. But at any rate, that t will take you back to the main screen and then you can just press the little sleep on off button and put it to sleep and then you're done. I hope this has been helpful.